hi aquarius if you are new here i am ashley lord this is my channel like this video comment down below and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you know when i post all right thank you guys for being here all right you know you know like this video give me a little energetic donation so it really does help my channel grow but we're gonna go ahead and get right into this if you did not read the title we're gonna go ahead and see what is hidden for you aquarius and let's see what you need to know here all right once again this is a very general reading this could be men or female all right this is for all aquarius placements sun moon rising venus north node mars and mercury and guys you guys do not um mind me right now i definitely have on my little night dress you know it's raining and stuff it was snowing earlier but now it's raining um yeah hold on y'all i dropped the card on the floor i'm trying to see if i can pick it up without bending down but if i can't that's cool i'll get it but yeah y'all if you go um also i couldn't get it y'all gotta get up <laughs> also you guys i want to let you guys know that we did reach 300 subscribers on the second channel i'm so excited about that all right if you do want to go ahead and check that out you can go to my featured channels all right um on my page and show you every channel that i have all right, and we just reached 164 on my personal channel. I will be uploading videos on there, guys. Don't worry. I've just been trying to get settled in and get my stuff together. Yeah, like All right, y'all. I tried to, like, move the notifications so I could see how, what the timing was on this video, but they end up closing out the whole video. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But this is a very general reading. You know, use your intuition to your own guide. Leave what is not for you and take what is for you. This might be half your story, part of your story. 50% or simply have a message in here for you. So we're going to go ahead and see what do you need to know right now, you know, and what's hidden. But more, let's see what's hidden first. All right. So what's hidden for the Aquarius uh, Collective right now? All right. I really appreciate you guys for being here. Also, if you want to book your own personal reading throughout the week, the link is down below. First come, first serve. All right. I have a multitude of readings and they start at $20. All right. Um, yes, yes, yes. And also my shop is back open. All right. You guys do want to go ahead and get your stages, your bracelets, your candles and stuff like that. All right, um, or your spiritual baths. I will be adding a bunch of new stuff, all right, by February as well. All right, um, but yes, I'm so excited to get on with you guys today. And don't forget, every single Friday, all right, at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I do do my mini readings and questions for $10, okay? They're a quick little mini reading on live. Oh, excuse me, spiritual bird. But let's get into this, guys. Okay, so first card out here, the number 27. What you need to know right now is you need to get grounded. You need to get into nature. You need to break any type of karmic or unhurrying stagnant ties here with the number 27. This is Malachi. Malachi is a stone um, where, you know, anything that is chained towards you or anything that is chained to you that is not how you say of the highest probation or, you know, loving energy, it breaks that chain. It helps it become easier to move on from a toxic and abusive relationships, friendships, um, you know, um, familial connections, all right? And, you know, it's it's one of those stones where it's one of the, um, I want to say, building blocks of, you know, getting out of toxicity, evolving, all right, um, breaking in toxic ties that you have to you and soul ties as well. I normally wear the bracelet, but I don't have it on today, all right? You can get that if you want, all right, but that's what that does. All right, so that's what you need to be doing right now. We have the number 44, Zinc Kites. I do not have this crystal, but it is the number 44. It's also about your physical body. You could be seeing 444. That talks about, you know, using your body as a temple, okay? So make sure you're eating the right things, you know? And if you're eating unhealthy, make sure you're eating in small portions. If you're not, you know, you need to be eating, how do you say, larger, healthier portions like salads, you know, changing your diet, getting milk and dairy and eggs out. If you know you're like toast intolerant like me and you acting like real crazy, all right, and some of you guys need to actually take a detox here. I'm sort of saying you take a detox, okay? That's what you need to know. All right, um, yeah. Yeah, and we also have the number 32, all right, which is ancestors. They want to talk to you. Definitely how to set up an altar, you know, pray, talk, you know, connect with them more. They were trying to get your attention to tell you something about something here. It could be about your root chakra. You need to get grounded here, all right? Mm-hmm yep so actually i think i'm going to turn this reading into what you need to know okay because we'll do a what's hidden reading next so Chris, let's see what else you need to know here all right let's get some of these cards the self-care deck let's get three of them what does Aquarius need to know right now what should they be doing all right like to see the comments down below if you want to see more of these all right and i know i do talk fast but you guys sometimes i feel like you guys are listening slow you could be from the south i don't think i talk that fast you know um some people think that, but I don't really think that. I don't know. But we are in that new moon energy, I believe, all right? And we did just have that big moon cycle. I did just see that a couple of days ago. 
Well, we have three cards here. So the first card out, we have the number five here. A change you need to make. You need to put a change in your hair, change up your nail polish, change up your eyebrows, your lashes, get your nails done, get your hair done, get some new lip gloss, you know. Do some type of beauty ritual here. And if you're a man, you know, go get your cuticles done, you know, get your nails done, get a clear coat, you know, get your hair washed, you know, get your beard trimmed up, you know, get your hair lined up, you know wash your hair comb it back you know do some type of beauty or enhancing rituals here that's what you need to be doing right now all right and setting yourself free um setting your energy free and you know vibrating higher and you know having good energy for some of you guys here i'm literally hearing you need to get high smoke you a blunt and chill okay if you do smoke go 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 smoke you a blunt i don't know why i just heard that spirit said go smoke you a blunt okay only if you smoke if you know you don't smoke here i'm not i'm not i'm not condoning or you know trying to make nobody do no drugs on here if you if you do cool but if you don't don't start doing new shit and say the terrible lady told you to do it because i don't got time for nobody to be going to the emergency room and saying oh anyways um yeah, so we have the number 33 card here, all right? So it says you guys need to make a vision board for right now. So currently you need to be setting your sights higher, okay, and seeing what you want to manifest by the end of the year. You know, it is January. It's a little bit, you know, at the end of the month, but we still have perfect timing here. All right, February is coming up. Man, try to manifest that, boo. Manifest that gift. You know, manifest those little heart-shaped gifts and stuff. I know I, I, I do my same thing, okay? I do my thing. I know me, I want the little heart-shaped um, Chick-fil-A little biscuits that we have, and I really want those. I've been wanting them for like two, three years. All right, um, also, the number 33 here, you definitely need to get the message. Come getting like, the message is, whatever you put your energy into, it will flow. So, I'm getting like, you need to write down all your manifestations, what you want, okay, and be very specific. Don't just say, I want a man. Because if you want a man, they're going to give you a man. The man probably ain't going to have no job. He ain't going to have no teeth. He ain't going to have no hair. He's going to have a whole bunch of hoes. If you want a female, I want a, I want me a girl. I'm going to give you a girl, all right. going to be a girl who be a prostitute, a girl who this and that and that, tries to take your money. Like I said, you got to be really, really specific here. Also, daily journey journal entries is key right now, I just heard. So, currently, you need to definitely be doing yoga, you know, listening to the moon cycles, be aware of things, and, you know, putting your manifestation board up around either the new moon or that first waxy moon, that first quarter, okay? Um, yeah. Spirit is saying this is going to be your year or this is the perfect time for you to manifest right now. We have the number 41, which is affirmations, okay? So, make sure not only are you doing the work, you're saying the work, and you're reflecting it back to yourself. 555 five, five on a timestamp period. We have the number 5 here. This is a part of your beauty rituals, okay? Make sure, um, you know, you're loving yourself. You care about yourself, saying I'm loved. I am brave. I am wealthy. I am healthy. I am strong. I am resilient. I am beautiful. My words mean something, okay? When people hear me, I will hurt. I, not well, I will hurt. Excuse me. I will help them, okay, and not hurt them okay yeah you know what i'm saying like oh you know um i am loved i am beautiful i am strong i am the air that people breathe all right and do not take advantage of i am the wind that comes through and changes any direction of blessings and direct them towards me you know things of that nature make sure you're having your uh, manifestations and also your affirmations here they go hand in hand it's giving me ace of cups energy but this is how you get new shit in your life or you know you affirm this your words hold weight spelling is spelling what you realize will be why do you think christians be saying you speaking in tongues because you got it together mary you got the vision okay so now that we got that out the way here i'm going to go ahead and get you guys some daria cards up next and see what do you need to know out the daria cards so what you need to know first off is sweet sweet solitude you may need to go into hermit mode energy or take some time out to understand your feelings your emotions how you feel about things how people make you feel all right how you feel about certain situations and you know any type of pent-up resentment anger um emotions or misplaced directions or not directions excuse me emotions you need to direct them in the right way or the right um outlet here to be expressed that's what you should be doing here especially while you're doing your beauty rituals and stuff like that it's a part of beauty but it's on the inside okay also, it says when you're a philosoph waxing philosophic about human nature, everybody lies, no obsession. So right now, you need to stop lying to yourself or stop procrastinating or whatever you've been lying and saying that you're going to do and haven't did it. You need to get your ass up and do it, okay? Hate to be the bearer about news, but get your ass up. Are you watching this? Get your goofy ass up and go and do the motherfucking manifestations and go do your vision board and stop fucking playing. Because you always want to manifest shit. Somebody, I just heard somebody answer, it's a, it's a strong feminine energy say You always want to manifest shit and don't never want to do the work. Or for some of you guys, you may manifest shit and, and half ass with the work. Or be like, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. <sighs> I know somebody say that includes them fucking all, them offerings on your altar. Like, I, don't, I hope y'all don't got no dirty water, no no dust, no type of nasty shit on y'all fucking altar. Because they real mad about that shit for somebody out there. You know how that be, okay? Child. Now that shit came through with the came but She's like, yeah, and I know. Get them motherfucking offers, offerings in check, okay? Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, they say you be skimping with them offerings. And, you know, um, you don't, you don't, you be half-assing. The next card, it says, I'm too smart and too sensitive to live in a world like ours. So, I'm getting like you to definitely see what are your strengths and weaknesses, what traumas and what things you can work on, what type of issues, mommy issues, daddy issues, you know. Working on your traumas here and also, you know, taking the time out to reflect and see what you can do to better yourself on her and catapult yourself into a new or better year. What, yeah, year, but you as well, okay? Mm-hmm. So, there we're going on. All right, we're going to go and get into what the fuck is the problem deck. We're going to see what the fuck is y'all problem here, Aquarius. Hate to be the better bearer of bad news, but, you know, it's time for the check-in, check-in. I need them bags of the money. But we got to do this stuff first to get the bags of the money. This is the stick-up, stick-up. This is the spiritual motherfucking stick-up. Put your good vibes, your bad vibes, in the motherfucking bag. Put them in there, okay? Um, y'all know I be acting on the food, but I don't know where that just came from. But I don't know. I'm, I'm in a good mood today. I had a nap. That might be what it is. All right, I had a nap. Your girl energy is up on a Tuesday, even though it's not Tuesday. But yeah, got my energy hot and I'm choosing. Okay. First card out. It said you need to fix your goddamn crown and handle it. I don't know if you're a man. I don't know if you're a female. All y'all wear crowns. You know, heavy as the is the head that wears the crown. I'm hearing J. Cole say, who is the king, okay? So, like I said, kingdom come. You need to fix your goddamn crown and handle it. I'm getting whatever you crying about, moping around about. Um, I'm hearing somebody inside to say, it's feminine energy. That ain't nothing to be sorry about, honey. You just got to get up and handle it. It's like a, a this person could be southern. She got gray hair. Like, gray hair, but she wearing, like, them silly braids. Or she wearing, like, a bun back like mine. All right, but yeah, fix your crown and goddamn handle it. And it says, if you hungry, or I'm getting like, you're not you when you hungry, okay? Man, I feel like you need to eat, okay? But not eat no bullshit. You need to definitely change your diet. Like I said earlier, eat better food here. It also helps your mood. Someone needs to eat some ashwagandha. And so, I forgot what it's called. Saraspilla, S-A-R-S-P-I-L-L-A. I think that's how you spell it, all right? And it says, you are blocking your own goddamn blessings. I, I'm not making this shit up, y'all. That's literally what they saying. You blocking your own goddamn blessings because you be half asking for some of you guys. Are you not doing the work? And even if you are doing the work here, you know, I'm getting like there could be more that you're doing here. Or some, some shit that you're missing. It could be something as small as putting water on the altar. They're like, damn, I'm hungry. I mean, I'm thirsty. I got a drink. What card is that? That fell on the floor. And it says, you need more healing. So, like I said, um, you may need to heal yourself a little bit more. Or, you know, healing is not a one-time thing. I want you guys to know this. Because y'all be getting spiritual on here and be thinking, oh, you know, I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. 11-11 on timestamp. Healing is not a one-time thing. Healing is linear. You have to heal every single day. Even if it's something small, somebody saying, oh, you ugly, you, you did, you that Healing is every single day. Because when you heal yourself, you're healing from multiple generations and lineages behind you. You're not just healing for yourself. You're healing your whole generational timeline, your whole generational, you know what I'm saying? Okay? Yeah, but you need healing here. And the last card out, it says stop being closed off. I don't know if you're being closed off from people. I don't know if you're being closed off from energies. I don't know if you're being closed off from your blessings, from doing certain things. I'm getting like... Stop being closed off, whatever that means to you, okay? And you know what I'm talking about. And you know this, man, okay? At the bottom of the deck, it says, tell the peasants or low vibrational entities to fuck off. So, like I said, somebody could be in energy here and they a peon or, you know, all these bitches is my sons, okay? Nicki Minaj energy. Many people here it could be acting like real stinky or, you know, bringing a low vibe, trying to project, start drama, come gossip about you and bring all that shit to you. Or you, somebody could be trying to spiritually attack. Tell them motherfuckers to fuck off. Yeah, at the at the top here it says you wish for. Remember, so be careful what you wish for, cause you can wish for something here, something that you wish for, you finally got it, and you could either be neglecting it or being like, oh, this is not what I wanted. But it's like, were you specific when you asked for this? All right, yeah, and also whoever this for some of you guys here, it's gonna be a real specific message. Excuse me, spiritual bird. You asked for somebody, or you asked for the attention of somebody, something like that, and you realized that they was married, or they're taken, or you have this energy, because it's like you manifested this person, but you didn't know what they had going on in their life, and you got them, you remember, you got you got the attention you wanted, but it come with some bullshit or strings attached, yeah, and also it says you need to be the change you want to see here, okay, like I said, what you attract will come, like I said, sometimes... It ain't all about, oh, well, if you're, if you're doing good, you attract good. Yeah, but guess what, though? When you attract good as well, motherfuckers see it's you something good, you good news. They're going to come bring your negative ass over there because they want a piece of that good news with any positive or negative. It's, 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 it's levels to this shit, okay? It ain't just, oh, if you, if you do good, it'll attract good. That's that, that, that be them positive, love, and light workers. 
oh, if you be so positive, you attract only positive things. No, because my thing is this. If you see a flower, right, and you you attract to the flower and you positive, you're like, oh, that flower is so pretty. I love it. I want to nurture it. Cool. But another motherfucker can see the flower and be like, I hate flowers. I'm going to destroy them. I'm finna, you know what I'm saying? It ain't all love and light over here. And people don't realize that. Um. So, anyways, now that we got that going on here for you guys, Aquarius, let's go ahead and get you guys some real talk cards here and see what you need to know right now. Yeah. So, this is hella expressive right now. So, right now, you can definitely be expressing yourself. You're going through the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Turning in your favor. We have Janine Aiku, or Janine, Jean Aiko. I call her Janine Aiku. I thought it was her name, but Jean Aiko. She's the Pisces. All right. Um, there could be Pisces in your energy. It does not have to be, or you have it in your chart somewhere. You know, maybe this does not resonate for you. Take what resonates for you. It's good, but doesn't. But right now, it says you need to definitely express your emotions. It said it is healthy to honor and express your emotions through any medium you choose, art, reading, writing, etc. Understanding your emotions and repet what? Respecting your moves and emotions will lead you to a great, you know, how do you say, sense of self maturity and self discovery. So that's what you need to be working on okay and also we have soundtrack here you are a superhero and there is no exception make a new soundtrack make some new soundtracks a new playlist all right if you guys um do want me to share my playlist i made for you guys all right i have multiple playlists you guys one for divines one for this one for that one for that i have multiple playlists if you don't know all right what you want to listen to go ahead and just ask me to, to share my playlist i will share them the ones i have on apple music okay also we have fine wine okay so it says you know as you age, as you get older with more experiences and get more stuff underneath your belt, all right, it says, at the finest of wines, as you age and become more ex complex and experienced, this thing invaluable with the knowledge and experiences you gain along the way, you celebrate all the flavor you have acquired just far. So, you know, I'm hearing like, damn, that's hot. Like, yeah, that's hot. Are you hot? All right. Remember that song? She got them red hot chili peppers. Hot, hot. Yeah. But we have soundtrack. Like I said, once again, make sure that your, your music and stuff you listen to is good vibes for you. Or, you know, it's helping you release your emotions and helping you get through a lot of things here. All right. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Who is texting me? Hey, my baby. Yeah. Why are you looking so down? Somebody needs to listen to that song. Please take my love in. It's a thing that's called I Care For You. Is that by Aaliyah? I don't know. But, y'all, I'm sorry. I looked at my phone funny. Somebody's going to say they miss me. Like, I don't even know who number that is. Your number's nice save with your toxic ass. I think it's a fake ass divine masculine, though. Because there's be a lot of them. Anyways, um, if y'all do want to hear any of my funny sports, sports, um, story time and stuff like that, um, let me know because I will be putting them on the second channel, guys. All right, I have a lot of spiritual, um, funny shit beat going on, okay? But let's go ahead and get right into it here. We're going to go ahead and get you guys some food healing cards, okay? And see what you need to know what's missing. Let's get five of these for the Aquarius Collective here, Spirit. Hmm. First card out, we have ginseng. So you need to be calling back your energy, protecting your life force. All right. Um, you could definitely have soul ties or different um attachments to people here, or you don't even know they're attached. So you need to definitely um, how do you say, get them together, eat some more ginseng here to alleviate these and you know bring your energy back or your life force back and strengthen yourself because we have spinach here. You are Popeye the Sailor Man. That was my favorite fucking um cartoon back in the day. I still watch it from time to time. I well, should eat more spinach here, all right? Okay, for somebody you're having gut issues, you could be having IBS or back issues or whatever this is, it's because you need to eat more greens, more spinach, all right? Yeah, like your acidity and your body could be off, or, you know, you could definitely be having um, issues with your stomach, like IBS or gas or lactose intolerant. That would help greatly. Let's go ahead and... I just heard ginseng toothbrush. You can brush your teeth with ginseng, but just something about a ginseng and a toothbrush here. Anyways, we have energy, which is coffee. So, like I said, you may drink a lot of coffee. Or, you know, you need to definitely focus on your energy, your life force, your strength right now. It's definitely being tempered with or, you know, it's not at its highest or what it could normally be. All right? Coffee energy. You should definitely, um, how do you say, work on that here. Okay? Mm-hmm. Ooh, that card fell on the floor. I get it. What card was it anyways? Let me see. Y'all always have to get up and it's written because it's cards going everywhere. 
So we have pineapple, SpongeBob energy. You need to get into the SpongeBob energy, all right, right now. Or, you know, with the pineapples, are you feeling it, Mr. Krabs? Are you feeling it, all right, Divines? Are you feeling it, Aquarius? You need to definitely um, get your shit together so you can expand. We have a new expansion or something that has happened with discovery or mission or adventure coming up for you. That's why this is being aligned for you right now. You could already be in one. I'm getting it's going to pick up in speed, okay? Yeah, yeah, we have the Paris card, which is grace. Something like, you know, you need to be very graceful in your approach here. You need to be very graceful, nurturing, and loving to yourself at this current time. Being here as you're releasing and you're calming yourself down, your mind, body, and soul. You need to drink some, maybe some tea here. Or, you know, you need to stop gossiping, get out people tea here, and worry about your own cup of tea. Because certain shit is for other people would not be for you. All right, yeah, we have strawberries here. Also, I'm going to be procrastinating here, which is keeping you away from your loving soulmate connection, or you know, what's keeping you away from self love, or you know, that's what's keeping you away from having this loving energy. All right, you're procrastinating. We need to actually get some blackberries, and I bought some today, or eat some more berries here. All right, let's get some more cards. Also, you need to do certain things in moderation, which includes, um, you know, taking action in moderation right now. All right, towards things that don't not no don't serve you or things that how do you say aren't keeping you grounded or leveled here. You need to eat some more beets here or eat a beet salad. I know, like, I don't know if you guys know, like, if you are Haitian or um, Jamaican or whatever, I know they make, like, this little beet salad. Oh, that shit is so good. It's my ultimate fave. Like, my friend make it. I be want her. She's an Aquarius, too. Well, when this girl I know, I'm not going to say friend. When this girl I know makes it or whatever, I ask her to make it or whatever. Um, Can I get a plate? It should be so good. Like, the beet salad. They make the pink little salad. People don't like it, but I love it. My last card, asparagus energy. You're going through a transformation here, love. So don't trip. Just keep, you know, I'm hearing that song, Power Trip. I'm something all night, all night. Uh, uh, this love song. I've been mm, mm, all night. All right. So this was going on here, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and get you guys some New Orleans Tarot deck. All right. I'm going to get three cards out of here. All right. Let's see what do you need to know right now. If you think of me now, wait until tonight, girl. So the first card I have out here is the number two. You could be ending a cycle. Like I said, you are transforming. It could be like you could be relocating. You could definitely be getting on your path. All right, stop doing people cutting off friends, family, lovers, cutting off anything that's not serving you, quitting a dead-end job, something that is making you compromise your energy. Whatever's compromising your energy, you could be cutting that off. All right, I'm literally, I'm literally hearing young thugs say, I don't care about this shit no more. So like I said, anything that's trying to compromise you, your energy, your spiritual path, or any of your blessings, or anything that you're working hard for, you're putting your, you know, planting your seeds to sowing yourself into, all right? I see you're ending a cycle with that, all right? So my name could be Clareborn, all right? I just seen that, or, you know, somebody could be love from Louisiana, possibly, all right? But yeah, like I said, this is being orchestrated here. This reminds me of Yime Ya, okay? Um, I don't know why. Just got that. Like I said, we have the number, what is this? The number one, which is Marie Laveau. You need to definitely cultivate your power. You're getting stronger, my child. You're getting stronger, not only physically, but you know, if you are a high priest or you're into your spirituality like me, you could be doing magical. Like I said, you are definitely having a magical, magical energy boost. I'm getting like your powers are being heightened here. You also may be finding out certain powers and things that you have, or how do you say, coming into fruition, or, you know, I'm getting they're being passed down through the lineage. So let's say you ask for um, more help to balance your gifts. I'm getting like, well, great, um, gives calls great responsibility and you know with great power comes great responsibility as well so you know you need to definitely be trying to cultivate these gifts or try to get better with them but oh no you're on the road to success the yellow big road just keep going the number 24 don't stop the mo the movement all right yeah you're just balancing yourself out here and learning how to um integrate yourself number 31 duality all right and we have make a wish in the reverse like i said be careful what you wish for or, like I said, be careful what you wish for. Because I'm getting something that you wish for, but it wasn't, like, exactly what you wanted. Either you're going to get it or you already got it here. All right? Get it. Got it good. Somebody birthday could be on the 7th or the 5th or the 1st, the 24th or the 30th. It does not have to be. Or somebody could be um 30 or 24. All right? Yeah. Somebody could have kids those ages. Like, um the smaller numbers. All right, but this is what's going on so far here, guys. But you need to be knowing here. I just want to go ahead and check in, do a little check in with y'all with the one, two. Won't want to, won't want to, won't want Who is that? Um, Erica Wadu. Don't ask me why. Don't talk in that shit, Badu. Badu. I don't know what song that is, so I need to go listen to that. All right, somebody can be a musical artist or a rapper. Keep doing that. You may think it's not doing shit. Keep fucking doing that shit. Motherfuckers gonna hear you. 
I'm just telling you. They're going to feel you. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the divination of the ancients. We're going to get three cards out of here for you guys. So we have thunder and lightning. It is raining, and we've been having a lot of storms and um, stuff like that. But astrology and, you know, whether we control that, Aquarius. All right? Let's get another card here. One more card. Heta, por favor. Thank you. Gracias. So, um, let's see. We have fire here, fire sign energy, or you know, fire. And then we also have the last card, black cat, which is good luck. Okay. So currently right now, Aquarius, you know, you're definitely harnessing your power here. Or, you know, it's getting stronger times 10. I'm really showing this because this came out in like two or three different decks here. We have the Marie Laveau card and we have this card. All right. So like I said, you could be practicing magic. We're trying to practice your skills here, but it's def there are definitely growing here. Or I'm getting beyond measure. I'm hearing beyond measure. So you're more powerful than you think. However, you're starting to realize this or starting to realize it's your energy or what you put your energy into or what you, how do you say, um, put your magical touch on or Midas touch. All right, it's definitely, how do you say, um, transforming or like I said, blossoming. Somebody can have a green thumb like me. I know me, I can grow fucking anything, y'all. Like, I, like, it could be literally cold as fuck outside and I can be growing a plant and the plant grows so fucking huge so quick. I don't know. But um, it's probably because my family owns a farm and all that type of stuff. But we have the fire card here. So like I said, fire, spontaneity. You should definitely be stop being closed off. Like I said, try something new or try to bring like the fire back in yourself or ignite the fire, baby. Okay, ignite the fire back in yourself or in your life right now. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, you're not only getting the fire, so not from the heavens, but from the earth. You're definitely integrating it too. Like I said, um, yeah, you doing the damn thing over here, Aquarius. Um, somebody could just do a burning ritual here all right on, on a full moon or a waxing moon all right but we have black cat here you're definitely having a lot of good luck right now good luck is in your future i would not worry about it my dear you're gonna have a lot of lucky i'm hearing things but you know you are extremely lucky and people know that shit all right i'm getting like you're starting to realize the luck that you have um even if it's something small like oh i'm so lucky i just got this today i just got that today but you know that's only luck but you know you are a little lucky when you come around people they money go up they finances go up they get job they do this they do that because they're pulling off your energy all right and you bring nothing but good luck and good energy here and that's why motherfuckers be having shit because they already know when they bring you around you got the mightiest fucking touch okay um aqua but this is what you need to know here i just want to go ahead and see what do you need to know and we're going to go ahead and get you guys some chakra messages here so go ahead and close this out okay we're going to get four of them for you aquarius all right but let's see what you need to know because i was going to do what's hidden but i'll do it after this all right um so, first card out, it says the third chakra, which is your solar plexus, the color yellow. All right, you can't get a citrine crystal or do mukai energy. All right, I do have these crystals if you would like to purchase them. Um, the bracelets are 15 each, but those crystals do need to be charged. However, obsidian and darker um, energy crystals are like selenite. They do not need to be charged, okay? They harvest their own energy. Excuse me, harness. But we have self-worth and self-esteem, all right? So it says, I honor myself by doing things that please me, not that please others, okay? Put yourself first, Aqua, because people will try to try you, all right? You could be getting tried right now. You will be getting tried soon. It could be something as simple as, oh, can you take this shift at work? Hell no. Nah. Bitch, I'm out for a reason, okay? Or somebody can ask you to go somewhere and write, and you don't want to go. Just don't go. Tell them what the fuck's going on. But it says, I'm in, I am empowered as I release the need to live up to other people's unrealistic expectations of me. When I respect and approve of myself, others will naturally do the same. I teach others how to treat and respect me by how I treat and respect myself. I know that I am worthy of love and respect. The boundaries that I create with others acknowledge my self-worth. The color yellow, the third chakra, this is your solar plexus, all right? This is where you get all your energy from. This is where all your soul ties land or, you know, where they lay, okay? This is where you get all your energy from, your life force. That's where all that shit sits, okay? I'm getting Iron Man energy. Somebody like Iron Man or Marvel, something like that. But yeah, we have the fifth chakra here, which is the color blue throat chakra. So this could be like lapis lazuli, fluorite, like I have on. All right, this could be like, you know, different things of that nature. Um, aquamarine. Um, what else? Lapis lazuli. I said that already. Um, Labradorite. Um, I do have all those braces, by the way. I'm trying to think of blue crystals. That's all I can think of right now. All right, but it says expressing my emotions, okay? The reason that we're here. All right, I don't know why I got that song, but yeah. It says, I allow my emotions to be fully experienced. I acknowledge feelings of grief, anger, and fear as I make a conscious effort to express my emotions or resolve them. 
you know, within myself to, how do you say, move forward freely, okay? With no attachments, no extra shit that's going on, Aquarius. And it says, I let the unconditional love I experience or I have experienced in my heart be expressed through my voice and my creativity. You know, I do give you guys unconditional love all the time. But it says, I let those close to me know how much I love and care for them. I forgive all who have done me wrong in the past as well as forgiving myself as I could not have acted in a more evolved way than I could have at the time. When you know better, you do better. Like I always say, okay, um, yeah. The next card we have out here is the number yellow. Not the number yellow. The color yellow, again, number third chakra. And it talks about freedom of choice here, Aquarius. It says you have the freedom to choose, so you choose wisely because your decisions have a great impact on how you see yourself and how you feel about yourself, okay? You need to own, accept, and express your feelings undeservedly and not try to escape them with your own mind games here. Have free will to do and choose how you respond to any situation. I choose to respond with wisdom, clarity, and understanding, or, you know, from a spiritual perspective, okay? Before you do, for a spiritual perspective, then mental perspective perspective then physical perspective that's what you're supposed to do aquarius all the time that's what i do all right and we have the second chakra here which is the color orange this is where you keep all your sexual ties your sexual parts that's where it is your private parts that's where it is okay the color orange all right, and it's also where your self-confidence comes from as well. And it says well-being. I honor and respect my body by giving it what it deserves to thrive. I provide myself with the best food, exercise, water, relaxation, therapeutic treatments, and thoughts, okay? Nurture your temple, nurture your body. We have zincite come out. That's the color for this as well. But it says I only consume foods and liquids that were just Ooh, they were designed by nature to be in my body. So, like I said, if it didn't need no sun to grow and need no sun in the process of whatever you're eating here, you may not want to eat that. Like, for example, pizza. Pizza don't grow on trees. But if pizza with pineapples on it, okay, that could be balanced out, you know. And, you know, to drink, you can drink some hot tea with it to, you know, wash away the starches and stuff like that. You know, you got to learn how to finesse. Not finesse in a bad way, but finesse in a good way. Balance, okay. It says, I make time to rest as stillness and tranquility are vital to keep my mind, body, and soul rejuvenated. So right now, um, you need to do a lot of third chakra work, a lot of, um, really a lot of third chakra work and a little bit of work on your second and your fifth chakra here. All right, guys. But this is nothing over the top. It's actually a really wonderful reading here, of course. It could have gotten so much worse, okay? But it's what you guys need to be doing here. All right, I hope this really did resonate. And I want to just let you guys know that I love you all. And I want to do, you know, like a little check-in. Because, you know, just keep everything in balance. But I will see you all later. If you want to book a personal reading, the link is down below. All right, if you want to shop my website, the link is down below. All right, and also check out that second channel. All right, and yeah, I will see you guys later. Mm -hmm.